In an earnings call in January 2022, Elon Musk said, In terms of priority products, I think actually the most important product development we're doing this year is the Optimus humanoid robot. He believes that the Tesla bot will be more significant than the car business over time, and he is not wrong. Humanoid robots are here, and they're here to stay. If you're a fan of sci-fi movies, you'll definitely know about humanoid robots. These are typical robots that are built in the shape of a human being. This fantasy may seem far-fetched, but let us tell you that this technology is here and will be available to the public sooner than you think. This far-fetched concept is going to turn into an imminent reality as we speak. At the AI Day in August 2021, Elon Musk made the public announcement of the Tesla bot, also known as Optimus. Just try to grasp the concept that you can have a personal butler in the form of a humanoid robot who can effortlessly carry out your routine, tedious, repetitive, and even dangerous tasks. We are headed to a future where Optimus might even be your best friend. Now, will it be available to the commercial market for rich people to keep the Tesla bot as servants? Or will it enter the labor market and replace humans wherever multiple, repetitive, and tedious tasks are carried out? Either way, the robot can work 24-7 and doesn't require a paycheck. In this video, we'll start with why Tesla joined the humanoid robot race, why Tesla is perfect for such robots, and move over to talking about the details of the Tesla bot its theories, practicalities, and what benefits the Tesla bot will bring, and finally, we will go over some potential threats this robot will bring to humanity. Before we dive into the tempting details of the Tesla bot, let's discuss why Tesla, out of all, would go for a humanoid robot. Let's discuss. Tesla is basically a giant EV company. It has several car models and huge, exciting gigafactories with their latest, the Giga Texas. Another point people overlook about Tesla is that it's also a software company focusing on the self-driving advancements of vehicles. It's not an exaggeration to say Tesla's self-driving features are the most advanced to date in the world. This autopilot feature works by using cameras to scan the environment and constantly record and take decisions within seconds. All of this is done by the vehicle itself. The most exciting part is that Tesla vehicles take all the computer data and upload it to their Dojo supercomputer network to train the autopilot AI to near perfection. This is a constantly evolving system. Tesla is a vehicle company, right? Nah. At AI Day on stage, Elon said, Tesla is arguably the world's biggest robotics company. Take a moment to digest this. He also said that the Tesla vehicles are basically semi-sentient robots on wheels. So Elon explained Tesla as a company that makes robots that are on wheels. Next, Elon says it kind of makes sense to put that onto a humanoid form, aka the Tesla bot. The newly unveiled Tesla bot is embodied by an ultra sleek design with white and black shades and stands 5 foot 8 inches tall and weighs 125 pounds. It can move at a speed of 5 miles per hour, which may seem slow, but consider that a literal robot will carry out your chores with a carrying capacity of 45 pounds, and it can deadlift a total capacity of 150 pounds. It will also have a screen on its face to display useful information. To facilitate human-like movements, the Tesla bot will be built with 40 electromechanical actuators, 12 in the arms, 12 in the legs, 2 in the torso, 2 in the neck, and finally 12 in the hands. The Tesla bot is not designed to be impressive such as the Boston Dynamics robots, it's rather designed to be practical. For those of you who are afraid that this humanoid robot may go rogue and try to kill you, don't worry, as it has a max speed of 5 miles per hour, you can easily outrun it. The secret to a safe and efficient robot is mainly in the software or programming, and this is the key area where Tesla has advanced a great deal as we discussed earlier. Real-world artificial intelligence and computer vision is where Tesla excels with their autonomous vehicles. Now, what can the Tesla bot do for us? In the January 2022 earning call, Elon said, I think Optimus has the potential to be more significant than the vehicle business over time. 
this says a lot about what's being put into perfecting the Optimus. Some sources suggest that the Tesla bot could be the first to set foot on planet Mars, long before any human being. The Tesla bot could start building and preparing a Mars colony for the first human civilization. This Tesla bot could also possibly become the primary source of global labor. This means that robots, or specifically the Tesla bot, has the potential to replace all working labor workforce. <laughs> this sounds like an exaggeration, because it is. But we are talking about potential possibilities, and this is one of them. Just imagine this. The Tesla bot would work 24-7 without requiring a break or a vacation. It doesn't need to be paid, it's more efficient, and on top of that, it doesn't even complain. That sounds like the perfect employee to me. In a future where robots become the primary source of global labor, Elon suggests there should be a universal basic income to offset the labor shortage. This exact scenario is played out in movies like iRobot, Blade Runner, and the most notorious, Terminator. We all know how the robots turned out in all those movies. Evil! The advancements in AI are growing exponentially, so it's very important that everyone is developing AI safely. The danger of AI is much greater than the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Mark my words, AI is way more dangerous than nukes, said Elon Musk in an interview with Global News. Now, how do we ensure that robots won't just go rogue on us and take over? Ever heard about Isaac Asimov's three laws of robotics? They ensure complete safety parallel to robots. The first rule is that a robot may not harm or injure a human through inaction. The second rule is that robots must obey all orders given to them by humans unless any order conflicts with the first law. Finally, the third law states that a robot must protect its existence unless its protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Elon suggested that the Tesla bot will be equipped with an emergency stop button, and by just saying stop, the robot will be turned off. One of the primary things the Tesla bot needs to succeed is that it must become a mass market product, which means it has to be affordable. Affordable is a word little unknown to Tesla. The market as of now for autonomous humanoid robots is extremely small, and some say non-existent, but we can have a peek at it by looking at Boston Dynamics robot dog called Spot. This four-legged dog-like robot can be acquired for only $74,500. This was the price at launch, and as of now, it is much higher. Just compare a mere dog robot, which has a small size and extremely limited use cases, and compare it to the Tesla bot. How much do you think it will cost? $100,000? $200,000? Let us know in the comments. Most of the components in the Tesla bot are being used in the current vehicle lineup. It will have the same brain computer as the vehicles, which Tesla refers to as the full self-driving computer. The Tesla bot will use the same cameras to see and scan its environment as the vehicles, same electromechanical actuators, same charging stations, and same batteries. According to this, a lot less parts will be going into the Tesla bot as compared to the Tesla vehicles, so this means the robot should be cheaper than their typical $50,000 vehicle, right? The question is about how much it costs to manufacture the robot. The primary question is how much the consumers will be willing to pay. Let us know in the comments how much you would pay for the Tesla bot. We have discussed the Tesla bot in theoretical terms, but now let's talk about the practicality of the humanoid bot. The human body is extremely complex, specifically how different parts of our body work together and perform a task. Mimicking similar behavior may prove difficult for a robot, as we have designed our environment in a human ergonomically friendly manner. It's for humans, not for robots. The Tesla bot may be able to do multiple tasks, but its efficiency is a big question for it. If you want a robot to perform a single task with great accuracy and efficiency, then making a human-shaped robot may not be the best approach. We have hundreds and thousands of machines that work on one specific task and carry it out perfectly. So the ideal way to make a robot vacuum the floor for you isn't to make a humanoid robot and have it control and vacuum the floor, but rather it's to make a robot vacuum. The vacuum is the robot. You don't want the humanoid robot to wash your clothes. The washing machine itself is the robot. What do you think about the practicalities? 
Would you get a Tesla bot once they are out? Should we still perceive it as something that will change the global labor workforce? Join the conversation in the comments below and let us know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, check out our video on the 5 most advanced AI robots in the world. And don't forget to like and subscribe to help us reach more people with this content. Till then, from all of us here at Tech in Check, we wish you a wonderful day ahead and see you in the next video. Hasta la vista, baby.